and on the right side of your screen has put 12 of his 13 professional opponents out early by knockout. And PBC on spike. The year-end wrap-up begins now. Stat that jumps off the page at you. 2.1 rounds per fight for this guy. He gets it over quick. It's something about those southpaws, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coming from the southpaw. Six first-round knockouts. Granted, not big-name opponents. Luis Sanchez is probably his toughest opponent to date. Sanchez coming in saying he knows the, the pedigree this kid has, but he's ready to show out that tough Mexican style. That's the last style he wants to display right now. Mine would be slick, move, get out of the opening round, see if this kid has gas for a long fight because we haven't seen it yet. Guys, we could fill this arena with fighters who have maybe carelessly been called the next Floyd Mayweather by someone. This kid in the blue trunks has been called the next Floyd Mayweather by Floyd himself. When he walked into Floyd's gym for the first time, he said, oh, you're the one I've heard about, Floyd. Told Gervonta, you're the one I've heard about? Put your gear on. No warm-up, no nothing. Got him in the ring, had some sparring session, and Floyd himself said he saw something special in this young man. 1's the thing you and I were talking about, champ. That tendency he has to stay in the pocket. He doesn't seem to want to back up. Leaves that lead hand low, but stays in punching range. He always, he's always waiting for that left hand counter opportunity. Hey, Jimmy, you know when you yep. watch the highlights, they're always perfect. You always <laughs> see the great shots. But it's these type of rounds that we need to see. If Mr. Davis has everything that everybody says he has. Love his temperament, though. Yeah. Love his temperament. Yeah. Quiet confidence. He believes he's the one, but generally you're a pretty quiet kid, pretty humble. But, man, you can tell he puts in work. Came into the ring very loose, big smile on his face. Came into our fighter meetings yesterday. Seemingly very relaxed. Best fighters enjoy the moment. They understand you only get so many of these moments. I think he understands and feels that. You know, the kinetic energy that is built up can be released right now. Right now, so far, Luis Sanchez not fighting intimidated, staying yep. behind the jab, yep. moving well. Very conscious of the power in that left hand. And it'd be good if he can take uh, Devontae some rounds and really give him some work. Davis more active. In fact, how about the defense there by Davis? Only four punches, CompuBox says, landed against Gervonta in the first round. CompuBox is needed. I just don't know how accurate it is. <laughs> Very true. You got to take all of it with a grain of salt, man. And, of course, Javante Davis does have excellent defense, but I also think a lot is because the strategy of Luis Sanchez, not throw his wad in the first couple rounds, not try to exchange with this young, powerful kid, drag him into the later rounds. So I think we're going to see a conservative approach from Sanchez in the first couple rounds. Well, we know Javante can hit. He has the knockout power. But a lot of times when you have a young fighter that has so many devastating knockouts, they get into a mode of power punching, and they don't throw combinations. Sanchez and Davis exchange. Davis dodges and returns fire. And now Javante picks up the pace. And he likes that head movement, there setting it up is. power shots. We saw that in his last fight. We're seeing it again. We're thinking that this guy don't have two hands as well. Fans download the free Spike app with full episodes of your favorite shows anywhere, anytime for free. When they are exchanging, Sanchez showing that, that Latin warrior heart. He's stepping in there like you expect a Mexican fighter to. He's giving back. He's not backing off. He's certainly not fighting intimidated. Levante right now is waiting on the counter, but he's not really giving it because Sanchez is not really. I think that's going to hurt his movement. Once he's in between punches? I mean, if he, if, if he uh, you know, overextend with that left hand, it just would be harder for him to get out and, and, and get out of reach from uh, another punch. See some fan tweets on the bottom of your screen there. Appreciate you folks so much in the first year of PBC and the first voyages of PBC on Spike. What a thrilling year we've had. And throughout the course of the three hours here this evening, we're going to recap some of the top moments, which could be produced right now by Gervonta, who picks it up with a couple of exchanges with Sanchez. 
Both fighters landing some punches. They're willing now. Oh, and Davis snaps his head back with a left. Nicely done. And if you notice, it wasn't the power shot, it was a combination yeah. punches. This is what these young guys need to stick with. The power is there. It's going to happen. Just go and let it go. Combination Sanchez punches. can slip that first punch. He can't slip the third and fourth. Exactly. You can't see him coming. Okay, heard that. That exchange, you can see Floyd there with the light blue shirt right in the middle of ringside seating there. Floyd Mayweather came out of his seat after that last exchange. I like what I see now. Devontae Davis is standing close. He's catching and he's firing back. And I love his composure in the ring for a young fighter. His composure is very important. You just forget this kid's just 21. 21 years old. So far, Luis Sanchez not backing off, You're not showing fear, even though he's been on the receiving end of some very powerful shots. He's staying right in there. Mm. Two more lefts. What Javante Davis is doing is he's finishing oh. up that power shot. Left uppercut caught Davis. Davis pounds his chest like he wants more. Yep. The two lightweights trade in the middle of the ring. Davis with a combination that lands. And another left. Final 30 seconds around number three. Best action of the fight so far. The left lands again and again. And Sanchez is wobbly. Power Watch ahead. of the man who some have called the next great one, Javante Davis. However, a lot of jabs. So I think that's the majority of his offense, hence those gaudy numbers. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And if he had that jab where he can really dictate, pop, 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 and disguise that yeah. power, it makes him a more, what you would say, uh, I mean, an unpredictable fighter. Hey, fans, wake up on New Year's Eve morning and tune in as the last emperor, Fyodor Emelianenko, makes his long-awaited return to MMA, plus King Mo in an epic eight-man heavyweight tournament. Breakfast with Fyodor. That's New Year's Eve morning. This, yeah. and, and you, you, hit, you hit the nail on the coffin, like you said, waiting, and that's what he's been doing this round. But when you're doing it like this, waiting, that jab has to be effective, has to be busy. What it does, it makes your opponent, you either have to reset, stop, and do it over again. You have to react somehow to, to the jab, man. Right. Luis Sanchez, you know, Juan Manuel Marquez, one of his idols, you see he carries the jab hand in a very similar oh. way. He has been open to a left uppercut twice, and Luis Sanchez has connected both times. Yep. It's good or bad, we're seeing this young man has a chin, too. There you go. Trying to see the bright side if you're Davis' corner. <laughs> seeing he has a chin. Again, what's important, I want to give Steve one it. It could be that Davis lost his first round as a pro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right hook over the top. Pleased to be joined by PBC historian Marcos Villegas as our unofficial scorekeeper today. And he did indeed hey. give that round number four to Luis Sanchez. 39-37 on Marcos' scorecard. We'll be checking with him throughout the evening. Three hours of boxing action. Do you have the stamina, Antonio? Um, uh, yeah. Do you, have you done I'm your here. road work, Jimmy? <laughs> I've, I've been running and training. I'm ready to go. All right. I'm in. I'm all in. Now, if Luis Sanchez is going with that slow burn strategy of dragging him into the deep water, he's got to start turning it up about now. So we'll see what his strategy is. More blow warning there. Kenny Bayless, our referee against Javante. What do you look for in a young fighter? You look for stamina, you look for breaks in confidence when he can't knock a guy out, you look for chin. He's demonstrated some of them, but now we start seeing what this guy's made of. Ooh. Like you said, Antonio, he throws combinations, he's a killer. He looks beautiful when he throws combinations, but what I'm really surprised at, that it don't seem like the young guy has a, a dominant jab, a, a busy jab, and everything works off the jab. I think if he incorporates that in his game, He'd be a better fighter. Throw the jab, labeling him as an entertaining rising star, Javante Davis. Love, like the feints, and he needs to do a lot more of that. Especially if Sanchez is reacting to him. Right. 
boy, as we take this shot, guys, it's almost impossible to take your eyes off of Floyd in the background. Yeah. Floyd is active and engaging in everything he does, including coaching up his young guy, standing right in the middle there. You know why? Shouting out instructions. I mean, Floyd has co-signed for this guy. There you yeah. go. You feel me? There so you go. His name's on him. He takes it personal. I mean, if, if, if this guy doesn't rise to that level, then what does that mean? Yeah. Javante Davis told us that uh, he still can't believe it when the text message ding goes off on his phone and the name says Floyd Mayweather. Third time that uh, Kenny Bayless has had to check Davis on trying to or throwing Sanchez down to the canvas head first. Sanchez overextending himself a few times in this fight. What I have to do if he's in there with an A fighter of a top notch light heavyweight, I mean, so those little things he's gonna have to do better. Yeah, they, they add up. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a factor of 10 when you're fighting an A-level guy. He might get away with it tonight, but I promise you he won't get away with it as he moves up that ladder. You know, Javante's looked over in between rounds several times and, and seemingly listening in to Floyd. Talk to me about the dynamic, though, of really two voices in your head because Floyd is not his corner man. A 21-year-old guy getting instructions from the pound for pound, the best ever, Floyd Mayweather, and still trying to stay focused and manage this fight, it's overwhelming. It's I mean, the guy's 21 years old. It's like when a Super Bowl championship coach retires, the new guy comes in to coach the team, but the Super Bowl champ is still around. Yeah, exactly. It's hard not to listen to that wisdom. Very true. And look at the but physical. But it's still extra chefs in the kitchen. Right. And look at the physical demeanor of the fight. Now it's Luis Sanchez moving forward. Luis Sanchez being a little bit more the physical bully. I think growing in confidence, he's the one moving forward being a little more aggressive. I'll tell you what, guys. I, I remember Pretty Boy Floyd. I'm going to say Pretty Boy Floyd because when he was the young Floyd Mayweather, you know, we saw a lot of different things. Combination punch, defense, counter. A you great know, jab. A great yeah. jab. I mean, he had it all. Davis's hands. He's a resemblance, but he's nowhere close to Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> well, he brings it back up now, but Davis's hands were as low as they had been about belt high. Showing no defense or at least uh, not much respect for what he thought Sanchez could do. And there you see the quickness, the ability to get away by Davis. It could be a strategic choice also by Davis in terms of he's not using the jab, so I have to get my opponent to overcommit so I can you know, land that big counter shot just like that. But it's leading him to back off a little bit more, leading him to maybe set a little bit more of a footwork trap for Luis Sanchez, hoping he walks into it. I mean, like I said, if you had that jab, it would make his job a lot easier. Yeah. Guys, Gervonta Davis, young, rising. does he have in him for his Mexican opponent, Luis Sanchez, who comes out firing the first punches around number seven. Speaking of combination punches, now it's Sanchez throwing him, champ. You know what, Sanchez picking it up, man. He might be taking it to another gear. <laughs> Davis covering up here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Marcos Villegas with a uh, four-round advantage for Davis. Oh. Nice jab. But this round, what we haven't seen, we've seen ones and twos, we haven't seen those combination punches that were effective early on in the fight. And like Sanchez, as he throws, he's angling off, not trying to stand in front of Davis. Okay, Davis trying to get close now. He's catching. He's going to fire back. This is when I've seen that he's been the most effective. That was a smart clinch by Sanchez in that position. Left hand by Davis. Found its mark. We're going to round number eight. Andy Davis. I wouldn't be surprised to see him in the corner yeah. of the next fight. <laughs> a little end swell on him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Davis came out here with a mission. Threw a flurry. Sanchez says, okay. I heard Floyd, I heard Floyd, not to cut you off. I heard him clearly say, stop going 
for the home run. Stop going for the home run and put those combinations together. Catch and shoot. Look on Floyd May with his face, almost disgust. This guy still shouldn't be in here with you, you know? Box like we taught you. There's a little bit of, of I think, urgency now from Javante Davis because of that look of, hey, you're better than this. I think so, because uh, Sanchez is still in this fight. No, he's not. This guy's not giving up. And the heads clash again. Javante had called for a headbutt warning against his opponent earlier. Let's listen. Okay, you all right. Javante was checking to see if he was cutting on the top of his head after that flash. And the two men dive back in. Davis didn't want any part in touching gloves again. He says, I got some more to throw here. Davis is, well, if Floyd was telling him don't throw the home run, it looks like he's throwing everything behind the punches here in round number eight. But he's throwing multiples. It's yes. not one punch yes. at a time. That's the difference. You think you don't want a sensational knockout? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. I, I really want oh, nice uppercut. Oh, and a second one drops Sanchez. First knockdown of the fight. And Gervonta Davis enjoyed it with a bark over his opponent. Six, seven, eight. Okay? Come to me. Go ahead. Go fight. Floyd Mayweather is on his feet. Many members of the crowd on their feet. Does Davis have closing power in him here with 20 seconds remaining in round number eight? Two left uppercuts back to back. Sent Sanchez to the ground. And now another left. Staggers Sanchez and another. Bayless getting very close to stopping this fight. Boy, the left hand is there every time he's throwing it here. Late in round number eight. Woo! In round number eight. What it does when you knock a guy down like this, a guy like Luis Sanchez, who had been fighting with physical confidence, had, fight, had been fighting with the attitude of, I'm going to throw back, I'm going to give just as well as I'm getting. A lot of that goes away once you taste the canvas. And he may get the knockout, the sensational knockout that everybody wants to see. But again, you know, I'm here putting eyes on a young man that has a lot of potential, a lot of upside, but still has a lot of work to do. Davis dove in there during your comment, Antonio, with a right hand that seemed to land flush. Which hand you think would get him the easier, the right or the left? <laughs> Which one is close? There you go. Good job. Hands up, baby. Hands up. His right hook hasn't really been much of a factor in this fight. No, 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 That beat left there, you're calling for it, Antonio. Oh, you don't have no problem throwing the left. I call that an educated left hand. Okay. It's smart. <laughs> it's been his weapon of choice throughout this fight. Now, if you're Luis Sanchez, you have to counter punch and you have to land something big to back this young man off of you, because right now he smells blood. Survival mode right now is not good enough. Oh, that's why. Lightning quick power. Sanchez flat on his face, and that's it. Katie Bayless has seen enough. Oiled up and sting. The sound of that, guys. He put his nose straight through his face. Man. Nose is broken severely. It's hard to imagine oh. any lightweight taking that punch and still getting up to fight. Luis Sanchez was as game as they come throughout this fight, but man, this shot, you see it a million times. Who needs a jab? <laughs> <laughs> when you 
have quick power like that. He split the boy to a smile ear to ear. Sanchez breathing profusely in the ring. He's yeah. Split. Tough One to see as Sanchez is still down on his belly. Gervonta Davis, Cobra like. After that, talking to by. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes suddenly. Two minutes, five seconds into round number nine. The winner by knockout, still undefeated, Gervonta, the Juan Davis.